you know, say so much things up, you know, that the thing kind of get topsy turvy and appear things are going. <laughs> Both yes and abroad, especially with America, you know, America in a serious problem. I wonder if I me want to see, but anybody see this post where the, this, the ISIS man, them, well, they might call himself a different name now, but I go and say ISIS. Um, the ISIL people, them put up a post on YouTube and them website. I show them, it's like them have somebody that drive past the White House with a camera and I take picture of the White House for sure. Say, yes, on no go on. See, they were there right beside the White House and no don't know. We can't strike at any time. And them serious too. Yeah, man, the man, them, the man, them, I take picture of the White House right, right from Pennsylvania Avenue. That's so for sure, say, well, boy, I write out all this or them there, you know. <laughs> but you know, them I recruit Americans and the English youth, them, the English youth, them, and the American youth, them, I, I, I run towards a group there. For some reason or another, America decides them to start bomb the place you now, and them, I wonder if we hear Obama say, him now nah put no troops on the ground for going to go fight like Iraq. And the, the, the head man for the army, I say, what you are talking about? We could have to go do that. But I try to make it look like say, the two of them not in conflict. And the two of them is in conflict. One is saying, me now nah put no troops there as the, as the prime minister, as the president. And the other one, I say, look here, we could have to go do that. Because, you know, the America afraid for fight on the ground, you know. Them, them just use their machine and kill people. Jones and them big plane we can fly at almost miles per hour them just use that but when they come on to ground fight them really scared because them don't want the american public to go and say see they're going to kill out my picnic them in iraq when i keep having a picnic them in iraq um afghanistan and no no i go back to iraq go make me pity them dead again it's a serious problem them find themselves in a but you know it's a whole heap of things because me I look on my TV the other day and me see a little argument go on between um where, where, where the British cross kill two Muslim which one of them with the Paris program when them did expel him from Kenya and said him come back them them charter plane for him come fly come back here it was that dangerous and a Christian no. It obvious say uh, the Muslim they might talk about rule the world. Because it's it would appear that every religion every religion feels say uh, them should have rule the world. And anybody all rasta them too, you know. You have some rasta where I say rasta go rule the world, you know. And you have the Christian them I say rule the world. But here one know. The Muslim them and people always say, eh, eh, if, you know, say, if a man do something bad, you know, your man say, no, that man, they're not a real Christian. <laughs> I hate you when people say that, you know. A man is not a real Christian, I tell him do something. Watch a man. Good people do evil things, man. And religion make you do evil things. Religion make you do evil things. Now, here we know. The Muslim say, boy, well, right now, any man, we are not Muslim. I infidel. Well, you know them say I infidel, so you're for dead. The Christian I say, well, you know, say them argument, they know, well, none of the Christians say, the cross killer say, you know, them argument, they know, really, we can't work with them argument, they know. You have to, you have to say, if a man not agree with you, him for dead. The Christian I go I like, say, I know the same thing Christian say. Is that hurt me in the whole thing, you know? The whole thing is that, a long time Christian I tell you say, why if you don't follow Jesus Christ, you're born in a fire. Bottomless pit and throw in a bottomless pit. So what's the difference? What's the difference between the Muslim where I say, if you're not Muslim, you're going dead. And if you're not Christian, you're going to... What's the difference between that when I say, if you're not Christian, you're going to burn in hell. And the same thing. Because a long time, these religious beliefs are religious. Oh, indigenous people... You know, when me, when me examine a whole heap of indigenous people, I'm a common enough indigenous people all over the world. Indigenous people, you know, fight over religion, you know. 
Because some of them don't have none neither. Them just look for the stars, the moon, and the sun, and the earth, eat air and water, and just give thanks. Them look for the animals, them, them give thanks. Them look for the mountains and give thanks. Them look for the trees and give thanks. I saw we didn't know it, you know. People call it all animism. Where you see life in a stone, you see life in a inanimate objects, and you give praise, praises. You give praise to the stars, you give praise to the earth, you give praise to the sun, you give praise to the water, you give praise to the tree. You just give praise for life itself. And in giving praise for life, there's no religion will come up in this thing where man will kill people because you are said this and you are said that. So some guys come up with this thing, you know, insecure men come up with this idea about religion now. And the man has said, my God is the right God and your God are the wrong God. And if you don't worship my God, he'll come over and kill you, you know. And the Bible have a story night, you know, where a little mad guy named John go up on a little island named Patmos and he might go write some things, you know. And he might go say, this is how we are going to go on now. And he might tell you about some beast and some head this and this and all that and all them things. And then he might tell you about the Amagidian. No, Amagidian is supposed to be the battle of all battles, you know, where God, righteous people are going to overcome the wicked. Because, you know, um, Rasta love call people wicked who are not Rasta and heathen and pagan, just like the Christian them. Because Rasta sometimes I draw from these, these, these Christian talking. And it's the same thing. So the Christian now, in a film, I'm a Gideon story, you know. It's God righteous people are going to live in. As a matter of fact, I'm a valley clock, I'm a 144,000. 12,000 from each tribe. So, I go save. And people really believe these things. Now, when a Christian sit down and start telling you, say, boy, well, right now, you see them people there, eh? them wicked, you know, because you know, they might kill people in the name of them religion, in the name of God. And them don't recognize, eh, a year Christians are kill people in the name of God, Jesus Christ. Years. You didn't have a place named Christendom. In a Christendom where them used to, uh, in now call it Europe. Where them slaughter people. I mean murder people. In the name of Jesus Christ. Through the Pope. And them have a next set of people where named the Crusaders. The Crusaders. Go in at Jerusalem and slaughter people for control the little place there. In the name of Jesus. And when you look up in a, in a, in a the north, north part of Europe, cause up to this day, Christians are kill people in the name of Jesus. Just like, well, it's not publicized because we know why these people is so aggressive and cruel and wicked in them intention against Western civilization. We know why them is so cruel against it. But the Christians, them are going like say, like Bush and him friend them, don't slaughter in this modern time, yeah, modern time. Not 10,000 years ago. Even though none of them never did exist 10,000 years ago. No 1,000 years ago or 500 years ago or 200 years ago. Because we know, say, a Christianity bring we come on here, so, in the name of Jesus. We, African people, in the name of Jesus, in the bottom of the ship, them, amongst the filth, the urine, and the bodies, when we are not so, Lay down pan top of one of the like sardine for come over here. So the guys them upstairs I talk about a wretched God Jesus save a wretched man like me. And when we go into the dungeons in a Ghana, the dungeons in Ghana, and when we look and see that our ancestors, our foreparents was placed in some little hole. Sometimes you all one year them pack up people in this little dungeon. 
And on top of that, they might keep church service and right in front of the, 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 the Cape Coast, where they want to call castle, a two church stand up in front of the door. Two big, big church. And when we look at in this modern time, yeah, when we see Bush, Harden ah, Christian, born again, him say, born again Christian, send him army and go in a Iraq and kill about a million people, including some from FEM, uh, FEM army, children, mothers, wipe out families as a Christian. And if you ask all of those people, they will tell you they're a Christian. And when you look at all Jamaica, most of the leaders, then the politicians, them give credence to this Christian idea. And they must suffer the people, them. Most of the police, them, who you see, are kill people. Them go to church every Sunday. In the name of Jesus, them go to church. We are saying that these two major Western religions has caused havoc on the people them. So which one of them can say them is not bloodthirsty? We are declared that the both of them is the most bloodthirsty group on earth. We has caused more devastation on earth than any other thing. In the name of Jesus, them stick flagging up people land and control the land and about civilized people. In the name of Allah, them go in Africa and devastate Africa to the point where in the name of Allah, them reach over Yasso with them institutions in slavery. Sell a lot of our four parents into slavery because according to them, you know, according to them is Muslim Islam come first. They don't know not about no African unity. They don't know that. They say African unity is not of no significance. If you're not a Muslim, you're an infidel. So when you're in Africa and you hear about like the Muslims, Muslims, Islam, don't look for Africa. Them look for Islam. So whether you are African or whatsoever, if he's not Muslim, you're an infidel. You must die. And the same thing Christianity say, when them go across Africa, in the name of Jesus, repent. Of your sins and wicked ways. And you shall be burnt in the fire. You shall be damned. Look today and see if religion is created. And then show me one state in the world today. That can truly say this is a true Christian state. Show me one. Of all the countries in the world, show me one country that can say truly they are a Christian state. Because pure wickedness are going in the name of God. Pure wickedness in the name of God. Whether you want to say Allah or whether you want to say, say Jesus, God, whatsoever you want to call it, is wickedness. And see now the two of them is clashing. And you hear the man on the TV and say, boy, this is a final battle, this, you know, long final battle gone. You know, long final battle gone. You matter about final battle. Every time something on them, I say the final time, this is you know, 2018, 2000 and this, the year 2000, the world going to end in the year 2000. When me a little picked me here, my granny used to say that. And my granny never lived in the 2000. And now me past 2000, over 2014, I'm just picking a barn, I'm picking a barn again. And all the people that I talk about the world are going to end. Them still have built up this and still have bank money and still have tried 
do all sort of things. We don't have nothing to do with heaven. It's a wicked thing. This religion thing where grass the people, them consciousness and thinking and mind and get them so wicked that why I say good people do wicked things in the name of religion. It takes religion to make some good people do wicked things. And when we look upon the Western civilization, because we have a problem with Western civilization. We have a man of Muslim. I not defend Islam. But me have a problem with Western civilization. Because we see what Western civilization have to offer humanity that is not in line with the natural order of things when it comes on to how nature set up. And when I tell a man to go live in a cave, when I tell a man must use computer, when I tell a man must be modern, but we just I say, we can be modern but not western. We can be modern but not western. And when me look and see, say, them thief will land. You know, there's a saying, say, them go to Africa. We have the land. And them teach you for prayer with your eye closed. And when we open our eye, we have the Bible and them have we land. And up to this day, we will on the Bible more than we land. Because we cherish the Bible so much that them insulting us so much. I mean, while we are holding up on the Bible, them continuously I take away land and I take away land. And we know that land is the basis of power. You do have no land, you do have no power. Most of the wars that has been fought in earth was fought over land. And when the Christian them, the crusaders them, the Knights Templars go into Jerusalem, them want to ravish the land. And take back where them feel say is a sacred place. I know if you go to Jerusalem, the three religion them take foothold in this. Uh, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. A serious thing. Judaism, Christianity, and Islam take all in a Jerusalem. And you have a group of people who say them is Jews. That they were the ones who came out of Israel, out of Egypt. It's a serious problem because this is the story of the problem, you know. Christians don't have no authority to come tell people about them wicked. And look how them have blow up this and have blow up that. Because they have been doing that for hundreds of years. The blood of my ancestors still awash the streets. The bones of my ancestors still lie under the Atlantic Ocean. And the children that is dying today because of economical and political devastation is still with us now. And guys, I make some false prophecy. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. They would have preferred to see Muta Baruka burn up in the flames if they could have do it. But it's not going to happen. I think burn up in the flames. We, know where we use fire cook. We don't use fire burn up people. <laughs> and it's that they want to. They say, Lord God, the boy, I blaspheme. Blaspheme we. And not blaspheme in nothing. Good people do evil things because of religion. And right now we see a group of people are rise up. And we are saying, oh, them people, they're so wicked. Oh, them are cut off people head and all them today. Look here, man. A long time Christians are do that. You know when them guillotine? Go by your internet and when them guillotine. When them use it in France. Them just put your head on and eat one something and I want sharp something and come down by it. So boom, cut off your head and roll along in the, in the street. And everybody cheer, Ray, when them see your head and roll, Ray. You think that done? That not done, you know? 
them now nah, this hey they you know the soldiers them are, are, are urinate pan pan Afghan the 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 the, 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 the people them in, in in Afghanistan. You know so the man them hang up people and a water board them. A Christian man them mind them you know you have to be said them are not Christian and them are Christian minded. Them go to church every Sunday go pray to Jesus. Look at the political systems in a so-called third world countries. Especially when we look at all how oh, every, every year in a January them go have prayer breakfast. Prayer breakfast in the name of Jesus. Them pray that God will look over Jamaica and keep Jamaica safe. And as them come out so, the crime increase. Every year I tell them, say, don't keep no prayer breakfast. It's a waste of money and time. All them don't sit down and fat up them belly. In the name of Jesus, a lot of we, our children, our parents, our ancestors, die and it's still dying. Because you have a group of people named religious people who can accept life. Just naturally, just life as it is. It, 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 life, life is not a, a complicated thing, you know. It's when you start to become religious, it gets complicated. Because then you have to start separate yourself. And you have to start looking at the next man as, because I'm not believe where you believe, you start to say, you might this and you might that and look where you might do and where you might go. move from here and go with that. You know, see it? A man, Belief is him personal thing. When him gone to him, him religion, no, it's supposed to be personal. But now man I take religion now and I enforce it. And you hear man pan TV I tell you boy, if you no worship Allah, you got dead. And when me, me, we just a come in a rasta, me hear some rasta I say that too. Me hear rasta I tell people say boy, you say if you not say till last year, you got dead. And me say rasta dead. See him like anybody else. I mean, a Christian, them say, you see, if you don't accept the blood of Jesus Christ, you're going to burn up in a fire. And you know what? And most Christians are dead in a Jamaica. As a matter of fact, every time you hear a act of God, and I can't, I can't come to grips with this act of God thing, you know. Because one would believe that if you are worshipping God and go to church every Sunday and you are living a nice Christian life, when God said a flood, he wouldn't make your house blow down. But when I look in Jamaica and when I see hurricane come, when I see this come, that come, it's pure poor people, I see feel it. And it's them people that go to church every Sunday. Go tell people, say, oh, the other people, them are wicked. And I cannot forget, I cannot forget this thing. That there's two churches on St. Elizabeth. Two churches on St. Elizabeth. One over that side of the road and one over the other side of the road. And the other one, the man, I tell you, the other one, them all. Them this and them that and that. Them now go over them church there. Yeah, this is a church and a hurricane come and blow away the church. Blow out the top of the church. <laughs> it's a serious thing, you know. The hurricane, the same hypocrite people, they really attack because they're a church over there. So the people, they might go over that church, you know. Hurricane come, come blow the top of freedom church. You know, see, I may say, but wait, it look like God now understand where I go on. Or him come blow with the people them church. Him for go, him for go blow with the, him for go blow with the parliament building on a God knows. A God, him for go down a juice, you go blow with that. I go up at Jamaica house and blow with it, blow with Jamaica house. I, 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 I find some the ministry, some ministry of finance and blow the ministry of finance. All them places now nah, blow it. Oh, all of the house them where missing rich people live in, I don't stand up so. And where poor people live. Wash red, them they pass some gully bank. Gully edge. You hear how much people dead. How much people flood out all of them farm, flood out all of them chicken and them cow and goat and hog. Wash and all them things there. And them have to go turn to the government. For go get this and that and that and that and that. And them have pray to Jesus every day. Every day. So I don't understand that. And I like somebody explain that to me. That you are prayer. Every day to Jesus. And when Jesus' Father sends something. And you feel it the most. All the while. 
over and over and over and over again. And I said, well, God know best. Your son meet in an accident and broke him foot. You say, oh, God know best. Why him never take him two foot? It means that God take one of my foot and me must thank him because I never take two of my foot. Oh, what kind of madness is that? Oh, what kind of madness is that? Your son involved in an accident and him foot broke. And you have to say, thank God and him two foot broke. You should have asked God, God, why you make my foot, my son foot broke, when I'm foot broke. Oh, you're telling me about thank God. What kind of foolish is that? Man, you out when I hear you talk about thank God, I know you're too high, you out. <laughs> you see that, all my way I laugh. If Brian, that makes sense? No, watch your man. You walk on the road, right? And a man fire something and lick in your eye. And you're blind. I hear your peer parents them now. Well, you know, we have to thank God to know your two eyes, them, you know. Why? Why, why you must thank God to know your two eyes? Why, why God have to lick out when I your eye, them? And you have to look through that now, and you have to look through that and say, well, the reason why I'm lick out my eye, I know best. I want my two eye, them, Lord. Please, make a go through life with my two eye, them. Until it get demand, 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 demand. It just saw it go. That's why when I play the tune, I say, it's my mind tell me. I do have no divine inspiration to play no music on IRFM. I come here and I play the music according to what I feel. I don't get no inspiration to play music. And when things happen to poor people, the more bad things happen to poor people is the more them I thank God. And if a man... A man who win the lottery, he said, thank God. I see that God make me win the lottery. You know? And if him not win it, he said, why? But I'm going to try again, yeah. God know best. <laughs> why him have to put all these things on God? You know, she said, only I pressure God too much. Only pressure in God too much, Rasta. Only blame God for all sorts of things. And you, know, you put a whole heap of things. You want to pass your exam? Just pray. I'll teach her, tell people that, you know. Teachers in Jamaica tell children, say, the reason why them don't pass the exam is because them is not Christian. You have teachers who tell people that in Jamaica. The reason why them don't pass them exam is not because them don't study hard and don't take them things serious. You know. It's because them is not Christian. And if they was a Christian child, they would be do, do better in class. What kind of madness is that? What kind of madness is that? So everybody blame everything. I'm not blaming everything on God. And I am looking on my life, and I am looking on how life set up, and I am realizing in my consciousness and in my viewing and seeing that every time something bad happens to poor people, them switch it off and say, Boy, I thank God said this never, you know. If your house blew away, you say, boy, I thank God me never dead. I mean, your house blew away. Why your house did have to blow away? Me say, oh, me say, I stole liquor woman my house. And she runs out of the house same time. She said, thank God, God saved my life. But God rolled the stone and licked on her house, you know. And she said, God saved him life. Thank God, yes, she saved my life. And now she now have no house for living now. Who rolled the stone down there? Who roll the stone on there? She says God roll the stone and, and, and match up our over to save our life. Terrible thing. And guess what now? Two baby was found in the river. Two, two, two picnic fire at the river, a watch way. In the river, drown because the flood. Them watch way. A man has said, well, well, you know, thank God I know my picnic. <laughs> wow the heart the hardness of men heart in the name of God is a serious thing so you have a man on the TV you now and he might tell people say if you're not Muslim if you're not if you're not worship Allah according to all the Quran said you're going to die you deserve to die and the next one, who is a Christian, I say, 
Well, you know, say this is the last war now. We're good. I've overcome evil. So the other man is the evil and him is the good. And in the name of Jesus, anybody who not accept Jesus Christ as them personal savior, going to burn 1,000 years in the fire, the compassionate God. God the compassionate. God the, the, the loving, the kind, and the forgiving. is going to burn you in a bottomless pit for 1,000 years when him come back in the glory when the trumpet sound in heaven. Eh, you know, go and look for trumpet sound in heaven. Only the musician them are dead half. We blow a trumpet, you know, see a pure keyboard I play, you know. It's a terrible thing. It's a terrible thinking. The thinking make good people do evil things. The thinking. When a man talk about love, all of the religion them proclaim love. But when it get right down to it, it's control. It's mind control them I deal with. It's not Unconditional love for humanity. It's unconditional love for the people them who is in the religion that you profess. And if you don't profess my religion, you see when the time come, I shall say I know you not. Get thee behind me. I know you not. And that is what, that is what we're seeing in the world today. The world today is corrupted by religious men, especially the man them, insecure men who feel say them must rule the world in the name of them religion. And then them come and tell you about love and kindness and this and that. Yes, you have religious people give to the poor, but then you have all done man I give to the poor too. You think say the done man are loving picnic like how the Christian loving picnic or the Muslim loving picnic? And yet still the done man go out there and murder other people pick me. He might murder other people pick me. But guess what? You saw him come home. Him love him children. Them him want him children him to have the best education. And him love him wife. Him want to care all the money that him thief. For go buy false ear and eyelash and all sort of big watch and pink boots and all these things. He thinks him not love him children them. Him love him children just like the man who go to church every Sunday, just like the Muslim who go to the mosque every Saturday or whatsoever him go there. Him love him children them. But guess what now? You see the society where we live in a name, Jamaica, yes or no? We're run by these so-called religious-minded people where the Prime Minister of Manawa behind her says she can't lose election. In the name of Jesus, and then she gonna lose the election. When man talk about on the divine intervention can save Jamaica, and where 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 we young politician are talk about the reason why things are going to so happen because the people them turn away from God. You know, entire the people them say that you know, you know say, I feel them feel the people them you know. When you hear all Damian Crawford come out and talk about God, you know, in relation to the people, you realize that all him realize say. The party them, that's why I'm talking talk, talk about dirty labor right and, 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 and plyboard comrades, you know. Plyboard comrade and dirty labor right. And then I'm turn around and say, why is he right now? You see, the reason why things are going in a Jamaica, you know, is through the people them turn from God. You wish God him a table. And the Christian God him a table. Because I'm saying, I'm a Christian. And all the people them want to do is return to God. And then we see things get better. As madness. And, and all the people them want to do is return to God and then we say things get better. It's madness. It's madness. It's, 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 it's them realize eh, they are here to do our work and when them can't do the work, them turn it over now to some supernatural being that the people them believe in. Eh. So when a man say it's only divine intervention can help we. The help the crime in a Jamaica. He might dry it out of him and knowing and I say, boy, right now. Me feel, you know. But Jamaican people now look, say, Bunting is saying that he has failed. Then if he feel why well, don't leave the work. 
if him feel and his only divine intervention can help Jamaica now with the crime, he must leave the work because he can't do nothing. He put it in the hands of the Lord. So, Lord, come down and help Jamaica. And then now you hear a man come to know the reason why the drought upon the land is because the people them turn out. It's where them people come from. Oh, he must say that. The reason why. We are talking about Al Milan now because we are calling them name, you know. We are calling them name. We don't care. We are calling them name. It's public. This was made public already before I said. Al Milan say the reason why Jamaica got through the 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 the, 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 the drought is because the people them turn from the ladder, and them even turn back. But guess what now? Al Milan a drive a done man. Go at the embassy. And the lad couldn't direct the police them in our next direction and didn't get caught. And I drive him, I drive the man now. Make the man dress up like a woman. Have our files here and them thing there. And the police them catch him. Oh, he make the police them catch him if he might do the lad's work. It's the lad's work he might do, you know. So how oh, oh, the police them catch him? You know, she say a madness. You know, she say it's a religious. It's like a it's, a. it's a psychological madness. That here, Al Miller claims say he moved Hurricane from Lee Kingston. But he could move policeman from him car where I drive Dudus to go at the embassy. You know, she say a madness. You know, she says ego. You know, see the man them I work off an ego. Where them feel say, boy, yes, you know, everything them turn. Watch out. The only people can solve Jamaica problem is Jamaican people. No supernatural being is not. You could have believed in a supernatural being little more. Supernatural being not going to put food by your plate and not going to make you get a job. Is the electors, the elected people and who you elect. And how you move into the society going to help you to help your children them. It has nothing to do with no religion. Religion can't save you. And that me I said non apologetically, religion can't save black people right now in this time yeah. Because religion put you in the problem in the first place. In the name of Jesus, the guy them going to Africa, take we out, carry command here, so string you up on light posts, string you up on tree, use all the with, with, with penis as 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 carry it in the back and carry it home for said yes. Watch a man. And them people is Christian, the Ku Klux clan who don't like Jews, homosexuals, and blacks. Cause that them a fight against. Jews, homosexuals, and black. The Ku Klux Klan is a Christian organization who's kill, who's still killing people. So when we look on the earth here right now, and we look and we say, where the guys are going to Africa? The Arab them enslave African. White people come enslave African. We have our own little indigenous religion around the corner, so, and we are do our thing. We never have fight and kill people over religion. And now them have a fight over politics. Them have a fight over religion. Them have a fight. Look how the guys them write in the Bible say homosexuality. Anybody who is a homosexual must be put to death. And I write that, you know, in a Bible, them put that. A man shall not lay down with a man, nor a woman with a woman, nor a beast. And any man who do that must be put to death. And in the 21st century and now, them turn round and say, look here, you see, if you not accept a man that sleep with a man, you need, you never get no aid from we. And as a matter of fact, we're going to suffer, you know. Because most of our guys now is homosexuals. And how can we come now, come follow the Bible that say four or five thousand years ago? Yet still black people still have follow it. White people now follow that. The majority of people in our, in our Europe is not religious. So how that go now? And them have we a whole lamp of the Bible, you know? Them have we a whole lamp of the Bible like it's a crutch. If we never have no Bible, what would I do? 
If we never have no Bible to come like we we'll but we never did last. We did have institutions and organizations set up in Africa before we come here. That was really carrying us through, that make us live and help our family and, and, and group in, in, in what we call a nation. Even though we don't want to call us nation, but we is nation, we not a tribe. How come we have tribe and them have nation? Because nation cannot be its organized group and tribe cannot be its splintered and disorganized people. We were organized. We were structured. We did have science and technology. We did have maths. We did have physics. We did have agriculture. And we did have all of these things. And it was structured. It was not a hard thing. Tribe this, tribe job, tribe job. It's organized. And we never kill people over what they believe in. We never kill people over what them believe in. It's when the invaders go to Africa here, people are kill people over what believe in. Or the earlier kill people, kill somebody over what they believe. I didn't believe that. If you believe that, I didn't believe that. So where you kill a man because of what believe for? I don't believe what you believe. So therefore, what now? What that mean now? I must dead? What kind of madness that? So which part they all love coming at that? Oh, love coming at that. That I no believe where you believe in her. And you no believe where I no believe in her. What I feel is so, why you feel dead. You know, she says something wrong. Black people in a Jamaica. You know, she says something wrong with the thinking. That a man I go tell you, say, if you no believe in a Jesus Christ, you go born in a fire. And all we want to do is be happy. If a man say love your neighbor as yourself, where else you want this or no? You don't really want nothing else. Love your neighbor as yourself. To see the good in things, you have to see yourself in things. So when I say love your neighbor as yourself, no, that is not no Ten Commandments, you know. That did they did before Ten Commandments, right? Because the guy who write that did a look on something older than him for write that. We know that. You know, see it? It's bully for commandments was in where this mind come from that he could have a right. Love your neighbor as yourself. That did a long time. So where's your need if you love your neighbor as yourself? Because if you see yourself in things, if you see the good in things, you have to see yourself in the thing. So if you see good, you have to see yourself in that good. And if you see people, you have to see yourself. That's why Rasta say, I and I. Because I'm not separate I from the I. I'm not in a second person. It means no plural. There's no plurality in the language of Rasta. So when I and I say, I and I, even though it might sound sem like semantics, but it have a logics inside of it. So when a guy come now and start to quote this and a quote that, it doesn't, quoting this and quoting that don't have nothing to do with our reality right now. Nothing. Cause right, if you now quote something where is of serious relevance to we writers or no, it's like you're, you're, it in a problem. Flood that will come and wash it. Anybody with flood come and wash it, will wash it. And if your house built on the sun, it's going to wash it away. And if your house so firm, it's going to wash it away. And if the breeze come too heavy, it's going to blow away your house. It just so happened that poor people, house, never sturdy yet. And guess what? It's them got church. The majority of people go to church in Jamaica. It's poor Jamaican people. We don't have no land. We don't live in a sort of serious house. We don't own nothing for themselves. What a terrible thing. And these guys sit down now. And I tell we, they must leave the people them in their land, make them worship who they want to worship. And the reason why the people them get so wicked is because they left over for them place and go over to the people them place and I try to instill a system that them develop in their religion. And them people, they did the thousands of years before them. And you come now and go put something where you find out democracy. You want to put democracy in our state. We don't know nothing about democracy, but they don't govern themselves. Look at what them do in Libya. 
Libya right now is a catastrophe. And when Gaddafi was there, who them claim was a wicked man, there was no catastrophe there. The people, they must go in and they were them business. They must advance in technologically, economically, socially, and politically. But them kill the man. They want make the man get sodomized, sodomized all the man too. Look at them going at, in Iraq, but though, match up the whole country now, they might try to fix it back, and it can't fix back. Uh, some the people them claim so wicked, and we call the people them, them going to go match up the people them things. They was over there doing them thing. Oh, you gone over there, so they want to show them democracy. Where is the democracy in Iraq after nearly 12 years? Where is the democracy in Libya? And when we look at the countries them, that them claim that do have democracy, you know, and one is then right near here, so, you know, one then near it, 90 miles from the grill over there, so. When we look at it, the man them send 100 odd doctors, and this is the problem, and we soon stop talk, because we are talking loud now. <laughs> Serious thing. Because we have to get it off of my chest, we have to get it off of my chest. Watch out. <laughs> The Cuban them sell 100 odd doctors to Africa for deal with the Ebola thing. And then we hear the American them sell 3,000 soldiers. That tell you a whole heap of things, you know. That tell you a whole heap of things, you know. That here is a communist country where America don't like. We're under embargo for 40 odd years. This country, a small island, Spanish speaking island, 90 miles from Jamaica, send 100 and odd doctors to deal with the Ebola issue in West Africa. And the American them send soldiers to deal with the Ebola in West Africa. That is saying a lot. So, we just had to say, it's a serious, serious issue we find ourselves in a, this religious thing. And we really and truly have to rethink all these religious people, I talk about Rasta, who say them are Jews, Judaism in Jamaica, who say them are Muslim in Jamaica, and when I say, we don't love brethren and sisters, because, because me, I go going make a man isolate me, because me a Rasta, you are Muslim, and me a Rasta, you are Christian, you know. Me just not agree with you, but me not go talk about dead by you. Me not agree with Christianity, me not agree with Muslim, but here I know, me will stand with Justice, and we stand with what we call love, love your neighbor as yourself, and that go far away. Religion don't afford you that luxury. Religion don't afford you that luxury, because love is a luxury not this Western world. Yeah, so it's a serious thing, because I'm telling you, say, ignorance is bliss, you know. And them confuse the people, them socially, politically, economically, spiritually. We do have nothing for all our pan, but one little book where them give you a name Bible. And then come tell you, say, boy, in a that book, you will find your salvation. And in a that book, if you, and the Quran, too, the Quran, these two books is manipulating black people for centuries now. Centuries, it are manipulate black people. And black people still can't find themselves. All them are read the book. It are confuse them more. Because now we see Christianity split up in a so much different factions. And we see Muslim Islam split up in a so much different factions. And some Muslims have said them people are not Muslim. You remember the, 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 the Al Qaeda was Muslim, yet still when they did that say I'm a Muslim. And now we see this guy, them guy are coming out say they a Muslim, and everybody has said they are not Muslim. And the same thing with Christianity. When Martin Luther break away from the church and go farm the Protestants, the Protestant church in a Germany. And when Henry VIII break away from the Catholic Church and start the Anglican Church. And out of all of these churches come all other denominations. All of them talk about them different. Seven day Jehovah with this. All of them are stem from the same thing. Roman Catholicism. But them are going to say them different. It's not a different thing. It's just different name. 
But the same church, one church, one church, and the same Al Islam is one Islam. It's just different factions and people seeing it different and looking upon it different. But the same thing. <laughs>